Imagine a blinding flash brighter than a thousand suns, a mushroom cloud climbs into the sky reaching for the stratosphere, this is the terrifying reality of a nuclear explosion, a force of nature unleashed by human hands. In a fraction of a second, everything within a vast radius is vaporized, leaving behind only shadows etched in stone. The air itself becomes superheated, turning into a searing wind that incinerates everything in its path. The ground heaves and contorts as shockwaves radiate outward, collapsing buildings and shattering concrete. This is not science fiction. This is the potential consequence of a nuclear detonation, a stark reminder of the destructive power we hold as a species. The very weapons designed to ensure peace ironically possess the ability to obliterate everything we hold dear. Understanding the full spectrum of nuclear war's aftermath is not about dwelling on morbid possibilities, but rather about grasping the urgency for their absolute prevention. In the immediate aftermath of a nuclear explosion, chaos reigns. Fires rage uncontrolled, fueled by the debris of shattered cities. The air is thick with dust, smoke, and the stench of death. Those lucky enough to survive the initial blast face a horrifying new reality. They emerge from shelters or the rubble of their homes to find a world transformed into an alien landscape. Familiar landmarks are gone, replaced by smoldering craters and mountains of debris. Hospitals, if they still stand, are overwhelmed with the injured and dying. Medical supplies quickly dwindle, and the sheer scale of the disaster overwhelms even the most dedicated first responders. Communication networks collapse, cutting off survivors from the outside world. Basic necessities like food, water, and shelter become precious commodities in the struggle for survival. The very fabric of society unravels as law and order disintegrate in the face of unimaginable loss and suffering. Beyond the immediate destruction, an invisible killer stalks the survivors, radiation. Invisible and insidious radiation poisoning is a silent killer that can linger for days, weeks, or even years after the initial blast. It silently invades the body, attacking cells and disrupting vital organs. The symptoms of radiation sickness, often delayed, are a cruel testament to its devastating power. Nausea, vomiting, and fever are just the beginning. As the illness progresses, hair loss, internal bleeding, and organ failure become agonizing realities. The long-term consequences of radiation exposure are equally terrifying. Cancer rates skyrocket among survivors, a grim legacy of the bomb's invisible touch. Genetic mutations passed down through generations serve as a constant reminder of the enduring impact of nuclear war. The development of effective treatments for radiation sickness remains a significant challenge, leaving many victims to face a slow and agonizing death. The horrors of a nuclear explosion do not end with the initial blast. Radioactive fallout carried by wind currents spreads far beyond the blast zone, contaminating everything it touches. Like a toxic snow, fallout blankets the landscape, poisoning water sources, crops, and livestock. It infiltrates homes, schools, and playgrounds, turning everyday spaces into potential death traps. The threat of fallout lingers for years, even decades. It knows no borders, respecting no political boundaries. The invisible cloud of radioactive particles can travel thousands of miles, carried by prevailing winds. Even those fortunate enough to escape the initial blast and its immediate aftermath may find themselves facing a slow and agonizing death from radiation poisoning. The environmental consequences of nuclear war extend far beyond the immediate devastation. The sheer scale of the explosions and the resulting fires would release massive amounts of soot and smoke into the atmosphere. This dense cloud of particulate matter would block sunlight, plunging the planet into a prolonged period of darkness and cold. This nuclear winter as it is known, would have catastrophic consequences for all life on Earth. Crops would fail, leading to widespread famine. Temperatures would plummet, disrupting ecosystems and threatening the survival of countless species. The ozone layer, already weakened by human activity, would be further depleted, exposing the Earth's surface to harmful ultraviolet radiation. The long-term impacts on the planet's climate and ecosystems are difficult to predict with certainty, but they are undoubtedly severe and long-lasting. The detonation of even a single nuclear weapon would have profound global consequences, triggering a cascade of events that would reshape the geopolitical landscape. The economic impact alone would be devastating. Global trade would grind to a halt, financial markets would collapse, and nations would be plunged into chaos and instability. The social fabric of civilization, already strained by existing tensions, would be ripped apart. Fear, mistrust and desperation would fuel conflict and violence. 
the breakdown of law and order would create a breeding ground for extremism and authoritarianism. The very foundations of international cooperation and diplomacy, painstakingly built over decades, would crumble in the face of such an existential threat. We need not look to hypothetical scenarios to understand the horrors of nuclear war. The tragic events of August 1945, when the United States dropped atomic bombs on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, serve as a stark reminder of the devastating human cost of these weapons. The bombs, unimaginably powerful for their time, instantly killed tens of thousands of people, vaporizing some and leaving others with horrific injuries. The survivors, known as Hibakusha, faced a lifetime of physical and psychological scars. Cancer rates soared, and the long-term health effects of radiation exposure continue to plague survivors to this day. Imagine a regional conflict escalating, tensions spiraling out of control. One side, fearing imminent defeat, resorts to the unthinkable, the use of a tactical nuclear weapon. The initial blast, though smaller in scale than the strategic weapons of the Cold War, still claims thousands of lives and leaves behind a trail of devastation. But the true horror lies in what follows. The use of one nuclear weapon breaks the taboo, shattering the decades-old norm against their use. Retaliation is swift and decisive, leading to a rapid escalation of the conflict. Within hours, multiple cities lie in ruins, millions are dead or dying, and the specter of global nuclear war looms large. This scenario, though hypothetical, underscores the terrifying reality that even a limited nuclear war would have catastrophic consequences. The only true guarantee against the horrors of nuclear war is the complete elimination of nuclear weapons. This is not a naive dream, but an urgent necessity, a moral imperative for the survival of humanity. The path to nuclear disarmament is long and challenging, requiring sustained international cooperation, transparency, and a shared commitment to a world free from nuclear weapons. We must strengthen existing arms control treaties, work to prevent the proliferation of nuclear weapons, and reduce the role of nuclear weapons in military doctrines. This requires dialogue, diplomacy, and a willingness to find common ground even in the face of deep-seated mistrust and ideological differences. The decision to renounce nuclear weapons is not simply a matter of national security, it is a moral imperative. These weapons, with their capacity to inflict unimaginable suffering and devastation, represent a fundamental threat to our shared humanity. They are an affront to our values, a stain on our collective conscience. We must find the courage to imagine a different future, one in which the threat of nuclear annihilation no longer hangs over our heads. This requires a fundamental shift in our thinking, a rejection of violence as a means of resolving conflict. It requires us to invest in diplomacy, dialogue, and the peaceful resolution of disputes, we must choose hope over fear, cooperation over confrontation, and ultimately, peace over destruction. The world has come perilously close to nuclear war in the past, but we have always managed to step back from the brink. The threat, however, remains. As long as nuclear weapons exist, the possibility of their use, whether intentional or accidental, will continue to cast a shadow over humanity's future. We must never forget the lessons of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the enduring testament to the devastating consequences of nuclear war. Let us work together to consign these weapons to the dustbin of history, to create a world where future generations can live free from the fear of nuclear annihilation. The choice is ours, and the time to act is now. Please hit the subscription button, like and share. Thank you.